So we've got a 7230 that we're working on here. And this tractor is getting a 157.04 for fuel rail pressure sensor at a range low. We get this active code with a D rate. That's with the key on, not start or nothing. We're going to use our John Deere engine test box here to test the wires and the sensor here and figure out what's going on. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to check our terminals there using one of our flex probes here. We're going to test to make sure that the terminals actually feel tight. Make sure we don't have a bad connection here. And I checked them already. They all feel pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and hook our engine test box up. First thing we're going to do, we've got our meter hooked in here. We've got our S1 switched uh, to an S1 right here. We've got the um, the B port on the number two and the uh, A port on the number uh, three here. It's kind of odd. This one, the center pin's actually one, two, and then three. And uh, we're checking our power and ground. We've got five volts there. Our S3 button here is a small load. See, we're only dropping just about a tenth or two. Um, that's pretty normal, and we'll start wiggling the harness, make sure that that number doesn't move. So after pressing S3 and shaking the harness, everything seems good there. We're not uh, fluctuating on our voltage. We're going to go ahead and move our probe here to the uh, 1 and 2. Then we're going to change our S1 to, uh, um, to the S3 right here. And there's a resistor in there. Um, to simulate a known good sensor there. And so we're at two and a half volts. And as you can hear, our beeper went off because the code went inactive. Because it's uh, seeing that it's a good sensor right now, the way it's hooked up. And so we can do a wiggle test on this one as well. Shake it, make sure our signal wire is not uh, fluctuating around. And after shaking it a while earlier, um, can't see anything wrong with the signal wire. So if you, in the diagnostics, it pretty much says to replace the sensor. Which these sensors don't fail very often. Uh, but when the sensor is, uh, hooked up, two and a half volts, we're sending our, uh, the uh, engine test box is sending the ECU to simulate a known good sensor. And if we look, um, our code went stored now and our rail pressure is showing around 10,000 PSI. So it sees, it knows that that should be normal. Uh, but if we unplug it and plug it back in, so our fuel pressure there says invalid with it hooked back up. Tractor will start. So there's something kind of goofy with that sensor when it uh, doesn't have any pressure at all on it. But the key's on and pressure sensor's hooked up, it's uh, throwing a code. So we'll recommend to the customer to change that sensor.